Hey YouTube, me Sadar here, bringing you another great dual come, this time with my friend Nick. Say hi, Nick. Hi, I'm Nick. And what do you do? I post gaming videos on YouTube. That's really cool. His channel is you got four shotted. Link in the description below. Anyway, guys, quick, quick channel update. I just picked up Crisis 2. You guys can expect a couple gameplays from that. And um, also, this gameplay is from my friend Ghost1708, otherwise known as Fire is Hot on YouTube. Also, link in the description below. Anyway, the topic you want to talk about today? Yeah, so today we're going to talk about YouTube and making money. That's a very good topic to talk about. And you know, I don't think one commentary that's nine minutes and nine seconds long can cover that. Um, but let's get started, shall we? Ha ha ha. Okay. Yes. Um, so money and YouTube. Uh, machinima, you know, that's what that's what comes to my mind first off. Machinima and, you know, advertisements. We all hate advertisements. I know that I speak for myself when I say that. And I think I speak for most of the YouTube community. Correct me if I'm wrong. But advertisements at the beginning of videos ruin. Not ruin. Uh, um, uh, uh, delay my interest in the video if you understand that. Yeah, and uh, also about, you know, how people charge for friend requests. Instead oh. of doing that, you could just, you know, ask them to charge, like, you know, give money to charity or something. Exactly, you, like, yeah. like, um, T Squared, he does that. Um, I used to follow him on, I think, Twitter or something, but anyway, he was saying, you know, like, oh, I need 1600 Microsoft points, you know, if you go into me, I'll a friend request or I'll invite you or, you know, whatever. And, um, also with, you know, other pretty big name YouTube people, I'm not saying all of them, but, you know, like, uh, DJ Keemstar from the, um, FAG clan, he charge, he says that if, you know, if you pay him the Microsoft points, then he'll friend request you for life, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, I don't find that fun because, you know, I like to game with friends and my friends on my friends list are for gaming, like, like you know, for entertainment and because I enjoy playing with them, you know? Yeah, and it kind of defeats the whole purpose. If you're just going to pay them, and they just put you on your friends list because you paid them, you're never really going to have a you know a mutual friendship bond with them. They're just going to say, oh, he just gave me money, I'll just put him on my friends list, move him, and then put somebody else that gave me more. He's Ex basically a tool. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Um, but, you know, then comes the machinima, you know, and um, people like that make videos, they get paid per view, I believe. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's per view. Um, I mean, it will pretend views, or blah, 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 you know, but, um, that, that defeats the purpose for me, is making YouTube videos just to make money. I like to hear the feedback from you guys, and, uh, Nick, what do you think about that? Well, personally, I, I just think that people that get money off of a machinima just do it, you know, because it's a hobby. They can't really live off of the money you get from machinima, because you can't pay, like, 15 bucks for posting a video or something. Oh, um, I, I actually like, believe you know, I actually be, I, big bucks off of it or something. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but um, I think that is a little bit more because I know a couple of people that do live off that. Like, if you look at the Machinima respawn office with Hutch, C Nanners, um, Mr. Sark, Hollywood, and T Tej, I, I know, I, I, yeah, um, you know, <laughs> that's that's their job. That's you know, they moved to L.A. to work for that. You know, for yeah, a but video game. Yeah, posting videos, not like you know, actually working and stuff. Yeah, they, I know. They do more than just, like, you know, posting a couple of gameplay commentaries like most of the people on Machinima do. Oh, yeah, they oh, yeah. They have thing. They have to set up tournaments, they set up contests, they do a lot more stuff than uh, just posting, you know, a couple of gameplay videos here and there like most people do on Machinima. Yeah, and if you look at Rooster Teeth, they do the same thing, you know, and everyone loves them, of course, you know. And we were just saying how before, you know, you can't have a YouTube channel and not watch Rooster Teeth, you know. Mm -hmm. we, we said that before the this... Uh, yeah, the actual commentary. Yeah. But on to the topic again of um, making money and YouTube, it's it's a, it's a good thing too. Like if you can pull it off at you know a young age, like you know before you get to a college or university level, it's it's actually pretty helpful because uh, before you can get an actual job, it's actually really good to you know get some money here and there, and so you can buy some more gaming equipment or a HD PVR, which gets your chances of getting promoted a lot higher. Exactly, like, um, there's a couple of videos on my channel with my regular old, uh, Dazzle here, but then I got my HD PVR, and I love it, and as you can see, the quality is, has a very significant, uh, significant, <laughs> uh, difference, and, um, I think I get, I think people get recognized for, uh, having HD PVR, which 
it's cool. You know, you spend your money on YouTube investments. That's really cool. Um, you know, and then in the long run, if you do get paid, you do get paid. And then this uh, little hot pod thing I have right here, I'm actually touching it now. Oh, man. I can get that. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, like, you know, it can be come back from all the make. I mean, that sounded like a little bit scrappy or sketchy, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, if you if you do get an HTPVR, it, it's an investment if you're actually going to stick with YouTube, because then, you know, in the long run, long, 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 long run, you could get paid back the money that you paid for a POG and, you know, for an editing software, you know, whatnot. You know, there's many different things. Yeah, uh, and uh, making money on YouTube. It, yeah, it's good to have, and you can also do a lot of other things, just, you know, posting uh, videos. You can also help other people post videos, like people mm -hmm. that edit videos mm -hmm. also get paid a fair share of the money that gets posted and the money that they get from posting videos, which is, um, it's an alternative, you know, just in case you can't, you know, you're not the best at um, getting gameplays, like 150 and 2, like, exactly. you know, the yeah. bar set actually bars are set pretty high nowadays for uh, you know people that want to get out there and I think it's going to be getting any, get any easier because of the new games that are coming out um, yeah yes but then again you know everyone has their own audience like, you know like not everyone who subscribed to me and you you know would be subscribed to you know fisticuffs or you know these pretty big names but not like the biggest names like you know like only use me blade or fisticuffs you know what I mean uh, yeah, and your personality really, you know, makes a big role in this thing, too. That's, oh, yeah. If you just talk bland and boring and don't have any, you know, I, I don't know how to say it, but, like, you know, sway or yeah. any expression in your voice, mm -hmm. it's just not going to be, you know, any fun to watch your videos because you're just going to be talking. And, like, Microsoft Sam would <laughs> be really monotone and pretty boring. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've had uh, teachers in the past with a monotone voice, and I've... I fell asleep in their class countless number of times, and if you're if my teachers are watching this, I'm sorry to say, but I had to admit that out loud. But um, <laughs> but you know, I try not to have a monotone voice. I hope you guys hear that I don't have one, and you know, like it, it's just a major, uh, you know, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a major dislike of mine in a video. You know, there's many uh, different uh, factors that go into making a great video if it's a commentary to a montage or whatever, but, you know, a, mon a monotone voice is a huge, huge, um, you know, factor. Disadvantage, in yeah. Well, yeah, it's a disadvantage. It, I would say it's a disadvantage. I'd say that it's a, uh, you know, it's a, you know, it's a bad, uh, Something bad idea. Avoid. Yeah, or you should work on, you know? Yeah. You know, some people can't help it. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's a really good point. Um, and again, uh, I mean, I know, Nick, you don't have a monotone voice from at least what I hear. And, yeah. um, you know, again, my YouTube audience, I hope you guys have heard that I've been trying to, like, pump you up, you know, like, let's go, you know, awesome. It's a, <laughs> hey, guys, it's me, Zeva. You know, it's, it's, it's a huge difference between clicking that like button and the dislike button it, from favoriting to, you know, flagging for child abuse. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but really, guys, I was joking about that. Don't take me seriously about that. I don't do that. Um, anyway, guys, this gameplay is coming to an end. It doesn't look like it, but trust me, it is. And uh, thank you for talking with me, Nick, about um, making money for with YouTube. Um, and, yeah, so please check out his channel and the, the player in this game's channel. Um, link in the description to both of them. Thank you very much. Please rate, subscribe, comment, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go play Crisis. See you later, YouTube.